Hi guys, uh, it's Mr. Holding here. Um, we're just going to do a quick video on types of cells um, as it relates to chromosomes and, and genetics. So essentially there are two main types of cells when we're talking about um, genetics. We talk about somatic cells and somatic cells are like the general body cells, your skin cells, your brain cells, uh, all those types of cells in your body. And then there's of course the sex cells or another term for them is gametes, um, which are used in reproduction um, between sexual um, organisms. So <clears throat> Basically, when we look at a, when we talk about humans, for example, humans have 46, um, 46 chromosomes, okay? And a somatic cell will have the full set of 46 chromosomes. All right, so that's the full set there, okay? Um, that's made up of 23 pairs. The sex cells, however, have 23. Okay, so essentially they have half, and there's a name for that. Um, somatic cells are referred to as diploid, and I remember that D for double, um, and your sex cells are referred to as haploid. All right, and the way I remember that is H for half. So um, a diploid has a full set of chromosomes, haploid has half, okay, meaning somatic cells has the full set of chromosomes. It has every chromosome it, you, it needs if you were to need to uh, clone yourself for some reason. All you need is a single um, somatic cell and you can do that, whereas a sex cell, it only has half the genetic makeup that you need. So as you can see here from these wonderful diagrams, you've got what's called, we've, we refer to sex cells or gametes as haploid because they've got half the genetic makeup. Um, and the benefit of this is that when women are making a new individual, we get 23 from uh, 23 from mum with the egg, obviously, and 23 from dad with the sperm, and they conv combine so that the new individual, the new zygote, which is the fertilised egg, um, has 46. Okay, so they have 23 pairs, half from mum, half from dad. Okay, so now we have our um, our zygote with our 46 um, chromosomes inside. Basically, all that happens is this cell is going to replicate, okay, and you'll end up with lots and lots. So you start up with an embryo that's getting more and more and more, and as it becomes more complex, each cell then develops into whatever type of cell that's required. So whether it needs to be a nerve cell, a skin cell, and a brain cell, and what determines that is these 46 chromosomes that'll set the instructions. So it might need to be um, one particular cell might need to be a brain cell, another cell might to be need to be skin cells. Um, all those in their instructions are in every single cell. Okay, so, and that's how it's work, and that's the difference between um, our somatic cells and our sex cells.